The Sukhoi Su-13 Ki continues to reign as a cornerstone of India's air superiority well into 2025, a marvel of engineering and a symbol of strategic might. This 4.5 generation multi-role fighter jet represents decades of Indo-Russian collaboration. The MKI in its name stands for Modernizy Rovani Komercheski Indiski which translates to modernized commercial Indian. Designed by Russia's Sukhoi and built under license by India's Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL, the su 30 k has evolved far beyond its original configuration, becoming the Indian Air Force's workhorse and its most visible guardian in the skies. Let's start with what makes the su 30 k unique in 2025. Over the years, this jet has been continuously upgraded to keep up with modern aerial warfare demands. Its airframe remains rugged and durable, capable of handling extreme G-forces and complex maneuvers. But beneath its skin, the aircraft has received significant avionics, radar, and weapons upgrades that keep it relevant on today's dynamic battlefield. Powered by two AL-31 FP afterburning turbofan engines, the Su-30 Mki can reach speeds of Mach 2 and has a combat range exceeding 3,000 km with in-flight refueling capability. What sets it apart is its thrust vectoring nozzles and canard four planes, which grant its super maneuverability and the ability to perform jaw-dropping aerial stunts like the Cobra maneuver and the tail slide. These capabilities aren't just for air shows in dogfights, they can be the difference between life and death allowing the pilot to outmaneuver opponents with sudden changes in direction and attitude. But as of 2025, the emphasis isn't just on agility. The su 30 Mkis Electronics suite has received a major boost. One of the most talked about upgrades is the integration of the indigenously developed UTAM ASA radar. This active electronically scanned array radar significantly enhances the aircraft's ability to detect and track multiple targets simultaneously at long ranges. Compared to the older Russian N-011 MBARS radar, the UTAM radar offers improved resistance to jamming, faster target acquisition, and greater reliability. Another major advancement is in the realm of electronic warfare. The new onboard electronic countermeasure systems improve survivability against radar-guided missiles and enemy sensors. With the increasing sophistication of anti-air systems, having an advanced U suite is essential and the su 30 Mkis upgrades ensure it can penetrate deep into hostile territory while avoiding detection. The cockpit has also been modernized. Gone are the analog dials of the early 2000s in their place. We now have fully digital glass cockpits with multifunctional displays. The pilot and co-pilot, or weapons system operator, sit in tandem under a large bubble canopy, offering excellent visibility. The improved human-machine interface voice command capability, and helmet-mounted display systems reduce pilot workload and improve situational awareness. What truly elevates the Su-30 Mki into a formidable force in 2025 is its expanded weapons package. It can carry a mix of air-to-air, air-to-surface, and anti-ship missiles, including the Astra Mk-1 and Mk-2A and Bia's very own beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles. With ranges exceeding 150 km, the Astra missiles put the Su-30 Mk in the league of top air dominance fighters. Additionally, the integration of the BrahMos A supersonic cruise missile gives the aircraft a unique edge in maritime strike roles. The Su-30 Mk is the only aircraft in the world equipped to fire this heavyweight missile at sea targets from long standoff distances. 2025 also sees increased network-centric capabilities in the Su-30 Mk. It now features advanced data links allowing it to operate as part of a larger combat web. Information can be shared in real time between multiple aircraft, ground stations, and even naval assets, 
enabling coordinated attacks and more effective mission execution. This level of interoperability is critical for modern combat scenarios where information dominance is as vital as firepower. And there's more on the horizon. HAL and the Indian Air Force are working together on the Super Sukhoi upgrade program. This future package includes the integration of even more advanced systems, including infrared search and track, IRST, sensors new engines possibly derived from the AL-41 series, and stealth features such as radar absorbent coatings. The goal is to ensure the aircraft remains relevant even as fifth-generation fighters like the AMCO enter service. In terms of operational experience, the Su-30 MK has proven its mettle. It has participated in numerous bilateral and multilateral exercises like Red Flag, Indra Danush and Garuda, going head to head with the best air forces in the world. Indian pilots have praised its agility, range, and endurance, often referring to it as a pilot's aircraft a responsive and reliable in the most demanding scenarios. The sheer number of Su-30 MKs in service a over 270 units a underscores their importance. They form the backbone of the Indian Air Force's fleet and are deployed across the country's western, eastern, and northern frontiers. With China and Pakistan presenting multidimensional threats, the Su-30 MKs presence is both a deterrent and a reassurance. In conclusion, the Sukhoi Su-30 MK in 2025 is far from outdated. With continuous upgrades, indigenous technology integration, and unmatched versatility, it stands as a shining example of how legacy platforms can remain lethal and effective. It bridges the gap between fourth and fifth generation capabilities, offering the Indian Air Force a robust, proven, and modern multi-role fighter that can dominate the skies for years to come.